We can investigate the growth of bacteria in the laboratory using agar jelly dishes. The first step is very simple. We prepare a slide with some agar jelly in the bottom. We keep it nice and sterile with the lid on. We then get a roaring flame on a Bunsen burner with the air hole fully open and we heat an inoculating wand. This one is a glass one, often you get metal with a loop. You let the wand cool down in the air and we take the lid off our dish. We then go over to the Lataeus micrococcus bacteria and we take a swab from the jelly. So a nice swab, so we work it all around. We're very careful to put the lid back on so that it doesn't get contaminated. We go across to our agar jelly and we smear it evenly all around the dish. So we've now got a place for our bacteria to live. We put the lid back on and we go back to the blue flame and we kill off any bacteria that is still on the inoculating wand. Go back to my safety flame. I go across now and we'll just do one sample as an example. Here we've got some bleach. And I'm going to take a disc, a paper disc that has been soaked in the bleach. Okay, we take the lid off our sample and we add the bleach with the disc into my prepared dish. I put the lid on and I'll show you one that I've already prepared. So here's one that I've prepared earlier on. And you can clearly see that we've labelled all of the samples. You've got a small disc with bleach, hand gel, and various other antiseptics. What we're hoping to see is when the bacteria grows, it won't grow everywhere on the slide. This will show us that products such as bleach actually will kill something like Micrococcus luteus. So then we know that we can use them as an antibacterial agent.